And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lucian Kindred. This is a, a very unique looking donation deck. I'm um, going to be our next deck today. Basically, what we have here is we have like an, an aggressive an aggressive deck with Demacia and Shadow Isles, where we have, you know, like our Curse Keeper, Blight Caretaker, like that kind of stuff. Um, but we're, we're kind of built around both of our champions. So our first champion is Lucian where to level up Lucian, we need to have four allies die or just have Senna die. And we're going to be able to do both of those things fairly easily. And level up Lucian is super powerful because it has double attack. And then each round, we have the ability to rally whenever anything dies. So as far as, far as having four of our allies die, Blighted Caretaker does three by itself, basically, right? It kills something and gets two saplings. So it's, it's very good at having our own allies die. We have like Fleet Feather Tracker, with the challenger that's that's an easy one to have die for lucian um and then you know we're gonna have cards like single combat that will you know we'll be able to strike be able to have our own allies die we'll have uh, spirit leech killing our own allies and then obviously ravenous butcher another very good card um to kill some allies so it won't be too difficult to level up lucian and then the same thing with um just having senna die right we can use any of those cards a lot to go along with senna right like we can have senna single combat and kill something that's pretty big, and then the Senna dies, and now our Lucian is leveled up. We can even just go, like, Senna, then sacrifice it to Ravenous Butcher, right? Then you have leveled up Lucian, that kind of stuff. Um, but then uh, we'll also be playing Kindred as our other champion. Again, we want to slay units with Kindred, and we just talked about all those cards that are, like, very easy for us to slay our own units or use challengers to slay our opponent's units, and so we should be able to be marking enemies fairly easily. Kindred also is a 4-4 quick attack. Like, that's a good attacker that's a difficult one to block. And so if we are kind of aggressive and have, like, these other quick attacks, you know, like Senna, Lucian have quick attack, like, we can make it pretty difficult for our opponent to get profitable blocks. Um, so, yeah, so that's what Kindred's going to be doing in here as well. Then we'll have, like, a Sithri at the top end, be able to give them Fearsome, a plus one, plus one, some Screeching Dragons doing all its stuff. For card advantage, we're going to have Glimpse Beyond, another way to slay our own units, and then Stalking Shadows. And Stalking Shadows is pretty interesting with Senna, where you can get, like, the Ephemeral Senna and play it and have it die, and then, you know, your Lucian just levels up from your Ephemeral sen Senna from the Stalking Shadows. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. And, yeah, we'll have a Grand Plaza in here to be able to give our things Challenger, especially with all these Quick Attack units that we have. Um, and then some removal of the top end with Vengeance. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's play some Lucian Kindred. It looks very, uh, you know, it looks like a, a different deck. We'll see how it does. All right, Aurelia Azir. So we're not playing anything like Radiant Guardian. Like Radiant Guardian could be awesome in this matchup. Uh, so we don't have anything like in particular that's like a, a real great card for the matchup. So we'll kind of see how it goes. Let's mulligan the Cursed Keeper. Yeah, I'll just go and mulligan it. Because, like, we're going to have, like, two, three, five right now. Because, yeah, we got our Lucian Santa combo. Lucian. There's a chill in so obviously I wish we had Curse Keeper to go along with the Splatted Caretaker. Vengeance is a little expensive. What's the plan? We shoot them. Seems like a pretty good plan. Velvet uh, Alabaster, welcome, welcome. First time catching the stream from YouTube. Happy to have you here. So you, we want to attack like this. Because if they have the plus three, plus one, and they block, they want to kill Lucian, right? Like, that's what they want to do is kill Lucian. So you want the Senna afterwards to punish them for killing Lucian, make it a five, five, you know, five power double attack. The Yordle here is with me. Let's move. Stay back. Yes, yes, yes. Today. Stand down. Oh, 
All right, kindred time. So so demanding. He's got so many things he got to do. Go ahead, scare me. Are you there, dear wolf? I am, little lamb. Are you sad? I am. What does it feel like? A long hunt with no kill. I'll bring them peace. Never. I want to do this. Alright, so I, I killed the Senna first, to, you know, not only to level up the Lucian, but now this Fleet Feather Tracker is going to die, so that means we're going to get the attack token again once the Fleet Feather Tracker dies. And then, if they have the plus three, plus one, they can kill Lucian. If they don't, we're going to be able to rally and have the attack token yet again. So that's great for us. That's exactly what I wanted. So how does it feel to have your opponent just attack all the time? Huh? A really Azir player? How does it feel? Probably doesn't feel great. Where are you going? Okay. So now our plan. So I didn't attack with the three two, of course, because you know I don't want it to die here. Because I want to blight a caretaker this next round. Hey, you stop. Blight a caretaker gives us the attack token. And there we go. Lucian is sweet. So let's see if we can do it again. We just played against Aurelia Zero. Let's see if we can do it again. Our hand was really good, right? We had Lucian, we had Senna, we had Kindred. Our hand was quite good. Do I want a second Lucian? I'll say no, but... I can kind of see keeping a second Lucian for um, insurance. Just like we practiced. Don't get in my way. Kind of want a block sparring student. Go ahead. Me. That sparring student gets super big. Love the sharp sight. I must become the leader they need. Green Glade Duo is just it's just so big. <laughs> good good thing we killed the the sparring student before, right? Just 
so much damage. It's half your life total for a two mana card. And it's also elusive. Okay, so our best draw step is like Curse Keeper. Hmm. Yeah, like get a good two drop that we could Caretaker away. So if I only have one ch Challenger... Because I don't, I don't think I can Caretaker away Lucian, can I? I mean, I guess maybe I have to. We'll have to kind of see how they play, but yeah, so I guess we'll go Lucian. Don't get in my way. Burn away the shadows. Yeah, no surprise. So the Fury from Screeching Dragon should help a little bit, but this Inspiring Marshal. I don't think we're winning this one, but we can't expect to win 100% of time against this deck. Alright, so Callista, this is going to be Cythria combo. So we're going to need to be uh, kind of aggressive, get underneath Cythria. I like Kindred though too, right? Like the other thing that we want to do is like keep their board clear. Um, yeah, we could do a prediction. Okay, prediction started. Push back the darkness. I've always got your back. Don't worry about me. All right, Lucian Senna, back together. This time it's not Monolution. <laughs> sure is dark, eh? Burn away the shadows. Think I got something. They hit pretty hard. Or at least we have the double attack Senna. Now moving forward. The two mana Dark Water Scourge to be able to go along with Mask Mother. Yeah, I, yes, I, I do, Rose. Rose has, Rose is surprised. I think this is, a, is not a very good combo, and I, I, I honestly don't think, I don't think it is. Like, yes, it looks great right here, but there's just, I've played it quite a bit. There's just so many times like where this doesn't happen, right? Like, this is just the absolute dream. Like round four, having that, that's just the absolute dream. But this isn't, this isn't what the norm, what it normally looks like. It normally looks like you're just having Mask Mother or Dark Water Scourge and them underperforming, like the last time we played against this deck. People just remember like the 
the very best that something looks and just you know like that whenever they try to judge stuff and not like the aggregate of what normally happens human nature when we talk about like the cards like talk about like how they are at their very best That's really too bad, because obviously we, we kill that 1-1, one, one, and then the Kindred marks the Mask Mother. Fresh catch? Well, it was fresh. Obviously, I'd like to play, like, Lucian or um, Caretaker first, but I just feel like this is the, the best play to do. Okay, so we have to slay the units with the mark, the things so with the mark can't just die. Another day, another monster to slay. Not a problem when you're by my side. So of course did that with the ephemeral so that we have four things die solution levels up right here. So I, I kind of waited because you know, like we would have marked the just like the little one one. So ten, I go down to three. That levels up Callista. I have no idea why like this butcher is not attacking, but even like the Callista should probably be attacking. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why those aren't attacking, honestly.
Yeah, they did they did me a big favor by not attacking. With other stuff. There we go. Two and one. Even that mass mother combo can stop us. All right, Lissandra and Talia. Okay, I could see keeping the Grand Plaza, but we have the attack token round three. I'm gonna send it all back. Of course, we want our, our cards to sacrifice. Like, we basically want our two drops, right? Like, we want our, our cards to sacrifice. We want Lucian, we want Senna, we want Kindred. So those first four were none of those, and these next four are still none of them. Maybe we need an, another... We probably should be playing three Fading Icon. Maybe just take out this Vengeance. Yay, Fading Icon, yay. Probably need three Curse Keeper, three Fading Icon. helps enable a lot of the other cards in our deck. I'm what nightmares fear. All things grow cold. Glad that was an avalanche. Speaking of This one looking pretty bad. As far as like these Talia Lissandra deck hands go, like we've played like these turbo Frozen Thrall decks quite a bit, right? And like having Frozen Thrall early is like all you want. And they had two copies of Frozen Thrall immediately. So not a good sign for us. I kind of need to keep single combat for Draclorn, but they didn't they didn't have Draclorn, so I guess we're gonna have the vengeance. So I guess we can do this. three and I'm holding on to this curse keeper it's the ephemeral one so I can play it and then spirit leech it but yeah I don't feel great about this game we have to slay a unit with kindred in play I want to kill this this 2-2 two -two to get it out of here to make it more likely, you know, so make it more likely we mark the 8-8s. That's where we're marking Atalia. Frozen Thralls are really powerful. We always do really good with our Frozen Thrall deck. It's 
If you have turn one Frozen Thrall with that kind of deck, that's really powerful. Yeah, the dogs are... We got one dog laying down over here. And looks like the other dog's in the other room. Yeah, one, one dog's laying to my left. What do we got? LeBlanc Ash? Okay. Don't like the Butcher? The Butcher helped us win the first game. Butcher's a good combo with Senna. No, Culling Strike's kind of a card. Kind of felt like I play Lucian, they Culling Strike it. History forgets, but the Black Rose remembers. Making the dead deader. What a treat. Yeah, I definitely think they have Culling Strike. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of thinking... Yeah, it's it's possible that the Screeching... The, the Screeching Dragon Sith 3, a part of the deck, has looked pretty slow. And so, yeah, maybe like that could we could get like some, some extra one-drops in instead of those cards. That's what I was thinking. Problem is that they have another Frostbite spell. This kind of levels up the LeBlanc. Because then, you know, because LeBlanc does five here and then does five here. If they just play another Frostbite spell. That's probably not worth it. I do think they have Cooling Strike as one trick. But I think, yeah, a, another Brittle Steel or Troll Chant would make sense for a, another trick. No, 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 no! What is waiting? Death on a smaller scale. Wow. Wow, that's big. So maybe it's just Coling Strike. Brown too much. And your face will stay like that. Unlikely with you around. I get those things so fast. You know, again, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be, but I'm just worried about uh, Culling Strike. I want, like, I was gonna. I kind of tested them to see if they would Culling Strike the Lucian, and then I would glimpse beyond the Senna in response. I guess Screeching Dragon could be pretty big. I just go Butcher and slay some things for uh, Kindred. Yeah, we'll just do that. If they want to go no attacks, that's fine with me. I'll lose my Ephemeral Ravenous Butcher. It's fine with me. And we'll level up Kindred. Yeah, we wouldn't... <laughs> we wouldn't be able to compete against... Uh, uh, Reckoning. Alright, we'll 
evolutions leveled. You're late. You're early. These stories were true. It's hard beats fast. Now Kindred's leveled. I'm planning on using the spirit journey on this 5-5. I'm not planning on my uh, Lucian dying. You think I should use it on Lucian, not on the Yeti? I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah, I guess that makes a lot more sense, honestly. Because, <laughs> of course, the reason to use it on the, the Lucian uh, is to give both of these plus one, plus one, and double attack. It does make Not and ready. <sighs> does make rallying this turn a little bit more difficult, but um, I'm sorry, Senna. If we get rid of Senna, yeah, because we just get to attack again, and that's just more valuable. That will do. Three and two. There's some really cool synergies in this deck. Like, I really liked, like, Lucian and um, Kindred together and everything. Like, with Senna's and, like, with all the ways to slay and everything. There were some really cool synergies with, with this deck. Yeah, there, there really was. It We did have, like, some clunky hands a little bit um, and some expensive hands. And, and, yeah, it did kind of seem like Screeching Dragon and Scythria were a little, un, like, little unnecessary. Uh, maybe we need... You know, because, like, our hands were definitely better when we had, like, Curse Keepers and Fading Icons and, like, things to sacrifice like that. So, maybe we take out, like, the Screeching Dragons. Because they kind of do, like, what a, a lot of the rest of the deck does. And maybe even and maybe even the Scythria. And maybe just play, you know, play, another, play a third Fading Icon, play a third Fleet Feather Tracker. You know, get, like, these earlier things in. And then maybe, like, one Hapless Aristocrat. Or... Never really loved Hapless Aristocrat though, but like could play like a Warden's Prey or a Mage Seeker Conservator. I'd kind of rather play one of those, like probably a Mage Seeker Conservator. Like this card, like creating a random spell that costs six plus mana, like you can just get like some really awesome spells, right? And just kind of and and wreck up. Like I think that that's a lot better than just making a, a little Spiderling that we don't care about. But that's what I do is I'd kind of actually just get rid of like that top end that we don't really need, but just get some more consistency with the low end. Um, Fleet Feather Tracker was very nice, right? Like, it's it pairs really well with Lucian. Um, and then, yeah, let's go with the Mage Seeker Conservator. Like, it, you don't really see Mage Seeker Conservator in these Shadow Isles decks that much because you don't really play Demacia with <laughs> Shadow Isles that much. Um, could the Wings and the Wave fit into a deck like this? Yeah, it could. The thing, it could. Um, it could, you know, because, again, like, especially, like, the one mana last win would be pretty nice at different times. And it does have that versatility. Like, you could play that over a Ravenous Butcher if you want. Because you have a lot of versatility with that. But this is pretty sweet. So, yeah, I just want, want to make sure we have enough little small things for us to, to kill with Butchers and Caretakers and Spirit Leeches. And I think that was, like, the one... The, the times that we were losing, we struggled with that. Now, we did, you know, of course, lose to, like, the Frozen Thrall deck that just put a whole bunch of 8-8s out there. That's just going to be difficult to beat. <laughs> but maybe if we had uh, more small things to be able to slay, like with the kindred and stuff, like maybe we would have had a better chance. But all right, so that's that's what I would do is I would I would kind of take out the big stuff, 
put in some more small stuff and uh get to it and you know, like you still have like good card advantage here right you have your glimpse beyond your stalking shadow your spirit leech you can still kind of play a later game you don't really need that top end i don't think all right so there we go that was lucian kindred um those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course as always feel free to leave those comments as well hopefully y'all enjoyed this one i thought it looked pretty good i thought there had a looks like it has a good amount of potential um, so yeah, let me know what y'all think about these changes and everything too, um, later on YouTube, but that's going to be it here for Lucian Kindred. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.